Here's something else that we haven't talked about yet this morning, Jim, uh, in uh, a favor report. I want to get to a couple of things. Let's start with Bristol Myers, Bristol -Myers. Uh, which reported earnings. We didn't uh, feature it at the top, but did want to take a look at the stock because it's not just the earnings themselves that are going to get some attention this morning. Uh, 94 cents was ahead. Revenue in line with estimates at 5.9 billion, up about 10 percent from last uh, from 2017. Uh, and the guidance 410 to 420 now. There also was. Uh, They've stopped uh, testing of a, of a, of a, of a particular uh, drug to treat certain type of uh, lung cancer. Um, that may be viewed as a negative. Haven't been able to, let me take a look at how the stock is performing at this point. But as well, we also get um, a long uh, deck uh, talking about the cell gene deal and giving investors a, a good deal of guidance in terms of the financial uh, ramifications of that deal for Bristol Myers for many years to come, and it, it is worth noting that, uh, Jim. This thing's really long. I know you always take a right. look at all I of this. Work, I worked I, on this one. I, I focused on, in particular, as I think a lot of investors may, uh, the the pro forma revenue and pro forma net income, right. uh, because they go out to 2025 and they put up some what are fairly significant projections. Very here. gutsy. Very gutsy because remember that's when Revlimid runs out. So they're really saying they can substitute all the all the revenue that Revlimid that Revlimid's going to lose. And they are telling me as well that they, these are probability weighted in terms of when they make these kinds of projections. Probability weighted on the likelihood of certain drugs reaching it for approval and and others mm -hmm. not. Mm -hmm. So not necessarily dependent on those drugs that are part of the CVR. Remember for which yes. they have to get all three approved in a certain timeline for that CVR to actually be worth. What is it, as much as nine bucks? Um, in this case, though, the pro forma revenue, I mean, you can see it right there, going above 50 billion from where we are now, at right, roughly 40 billion. And pro forma net income as well, increasing uh, dramatically, Jim. Right. I mention all this, of course, in the light of the fact that the spread in this deal, the differential between what Celgene is worth and where it's trading right now, based on the 50 bucks a share uh, and the one share, you 50 bucks share in cash and the one share Bristol Myers you get, oh is substantial. God. It's about a 25, oh 26 percent annualized, and the reason for that is because of this continued belief or concern, not belief, concern, uh, that perhaps Bristol Myers would get some sort of a bid, which frankly I've heard nothing, nothing. that indicates no, that's true. Nothing. And or that an activist might show up to try to weigh shareholders to vote against the deal. Again there, I've heard nothing that indicates uh, the presence of a significant activist in the stock. So uh, that is why you're looking at a very substantial mm -hmm. spread. And interesting, the company chose to come out with this very long deck this morning. Uh, in which they share their financial targets for the deal. Remember, they talked about it being 40 percent accretive right, right off the bat, but go into some level of detail as well about uh, the various therapies that they have uh, at Bristol Myers and at Celgene, and will have in combination. I think Giovanni Caforio is real. I think the deal is a good one. I believe in the Celgene pipeline. I like the special CVR, because even though I don't trust those drugs, that's okay. Uh, I think this stock, I mean, it yields 3.31 Bristol Myers. Uh, that spread is absolutely daunting. I buy Bristol. All right. I buy, but I'll tell you why. That was a major decision to pull the Yervo Optivo uh, on this small, uh, non, non small cell right. lung cancer. And the stock, I thought it'd be down two bucks. It's, it's, it's not, barely down. It's barely down. What does that tell you? Not, yeah. Well, I think people are reacting to a certain extent to, to the presentation the deck, that they the presented today. The deck is good, David. This morning.